father turns his son in. Uh, the son threatened to shoot up the school. Huh. United States has had shootings across 20 schools since January. You're number one, USA. There has been discussion as to what to do or say when you see the warning signs of a potential shooter. One father has just turned his 10-year-old son into authority after he threatened to shoot up the local high school. Cause and effect. 10-year-old Florida boy's father turned him in after he made a threat to shoot up a high school in uh, on the Snapchat app. Authorities announced that on Friday, USA Today, with the reporting. The investigation began Wednesday after school had ended. Sheriff's office said around 4 p.m. that day, Wakula High School staff let a school resource officer know there was a threatening social media post circulating about the school. High school student told school staff that they talked to someone on Snapchat who said they were going to carry out a shooting at the school. That's what it said. It's y'all's last day. The message continued. With millions watching and many people benefiting from this program called Indisputable, we just need 1% of the viewers to become a paid member so we can continue to bring this content to you. Now back to the show. According to the sheriff's office, investigators work Wednesday night and Thursday morning to find the person who made the threat, someone with the safe schools division at the Wakula County Sheriff's Office arrested a 10-year-old Woodville boy Sheriff's office said authorities made contact with the subject who made the online threat at his residence in Leon County and interviewed him. Also on Thursday, a school resource officer who was part of the investigation secured an arrest warrant charging the 10-year-old with making a written or electronic threat to kill, do bodily injury, or conduct a mass shooting or an act of terrorism. This comes after Michigan school shooters' parents, Jennifer and James Crumley were sentenced to 10 years in prison for not stopping a runaway train. They became the first parents to be convicted in a U.S. mass shooting. So this is bad 10-year-old boy. Bad, bad, bad kid. Age 10. I have studied and know a little bit about the brain's development at that age, and I'm not excusing this, Mayor, but here... Here's what I see. There's all of these statements, arrest warrants, terrorism. I don't want anybody shot up and I want kids to get help when they're crying for it. That's apparently what was going on here. But it's never, you know, now you have parents turning in 10 year olds, right? Which great, kudos, get, get your son help. It's never addressing the issue. So now the kids who consume tons of violence online, television, the news, as they watch these mass shootings, where do you think a 10-year-old got the idea that uh, today's your last day? Probably his parents had the news on as the news covered, showed America a mirror. I don't know what to do about the 10-year-old except to get him help, and I, I wonder what else is going on there. I suspect some of what I listed is going on, Mayor. What do you see in this one? Make it make sense. I, I What's funny to me, and funny in a, in a, in a sad way, is... This kid threatened to shoot up, this 10-year-old kid threatened to shoot up a school, a high school. Clearly, this kid is not in high school. One, what does this 10-year-old mean to get to the high school? Two, two, because they, they arrested him. And in order for it to be a threat, it has to be credible. That means the parents probably had guns in their house. So rather than get rid of your guns, you'll get rid of your child. Rather than get rid of your guns, you'll get rid of your child. Because this can't be a credible threat if this child does not have access to the high school, which could be in walking distance from his household or from his school. And also, he does not have access to gun, which means the parents said, well, we're going to choose our guns over our child. Because you could have just said, I'm throwing these guns away, I'm giving them away, I'm taking them to the pawn shop, or any of that. And of course, this is speculation, but I'm assuming where else would this kid who lives at home with his parents, because he made the threat at their house, have access to guns? So more than what he heard and what the kid said about the last day, where are the, where's the weapons in his house? And what weapons did he have access to? Probably an AR-15. Mm. Well, you know, Kamala's coming to take away everybody's guns, so nobody wants to give up their guns. You know, there's still people listening to that big lie, okay? The woman said she has one, but I agree with you. Guns are more important than people. That's not uh, an opinion, that's a fact, right? 
Look how we protect guns and look how we protect people, including children who are sitting ducks in school. So I agree with you. I want my child to have, and I work overtime, but parents aren't perfect. They're not perfect, okay? These parents, I don't understand it either. And I don't understand the sheriff and a high school, but he's 10 and you're right. All of the circumstances that have to add up to a credible threat, but this is being perpetuated and put out there on the news. The reporting and the sheriff standing before the cameras. I bet he gave a news conference too. I know he did. And the community feels say her tonight threat averted. It's not true. They still have the guns, don't they? 10 year old boys now getting help. I will uh, defer to you to wrap this one up too, Mayor. I mean, we we listen, there there can be, there is a finite number of of um school shootings that America can withstand. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, it's at the la it's at the expense of all the kids in those schools. So are we willing to continue to allow this to happen until it's, it's, it's in touch every child in this country? Or are we really going to get serious about gun regulations and start doing something and act damn decent about this issue? Sadly, and I don't even think you expected me to answer it because it was rhetorical, but I, I know the answer. I think we all know the answer. You know, we're going to go to break, but remember Columbine? That was like the, the first. I remember being haunted by every detail. And the news media stayed on it. What seemed like months, you know, every night we got more details and footage and oh, watching them jump out of the window and there was blood and the two who carried it out. And we, this was unheard of. Just like when Al Qaeda started chopping people's heads off while they were alive. And now all these years later, Sandy Hook, I was hanging decoration. Remember it was December. I was gonna go in, I usually went in at three o'clock to do the news. I remember being on a ladder and I had the news on and da, 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 breaking news. And I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. And I am still haunted by it. I can't look at their pictures. I cannot look at their pictures. Talk about a life sentence.